Everyone is talking about AI in telecom right now, but here is what major operators and vendors are actually implementing right now with real results. Nokia did a deployment for STC in Saudi Arabia in 2024. It was Nokia's Manta Ray Cognitive Son that used AI algorithms and AI decision making to deliver results. During high traffic periods, this system processed over 10,000 network related actions to increase cell utilization by approximately 30% and improved average user throughput by 10%, so the bit rates. The network maintained consistent performance even with a 40% surge in traffic. NTT Docomo in Japan has implemented AI-enabled Open RAN automation in its commercial network, achieving up to a 30% total cost of ownership reduction, a 50% reduction in power consumption at base stations, and a 50% reduction in network design workload. Also in Japan, we have Rakuten Mobile. They have used RAN automation applications to achieve energy savings of around 17% per cell, and they now plan to increase that saving to 25% by implementing more sophisticated AI machine learning models. MassMobile in Spain worked with Ericsson using reinforcement learning to optimize remote electrical tilt of the base station antennas during busy hours in Malaga. The result was a 12% increase in downlink user throughput while achieving near zero congestion rates. Swisscom in Switzerland also used reinforcement learning with Ericsson to reduce cell downlink transmission power by 20% while still achieving a 5.5% throughput gain. SK Telecom in South Korea is tripling its AI investments from 12% to 33% over the next five years and targets 18.5 billion in AI revenues by 2028 as part of its strategy to become a global AI company. Well, for this particular telco, this means generating AI revenues through multiple streams building an AI hosting business by nearly doubling data center capacity by 2030 to sell AI computing services to other companies. Officially launching its personal AI assistant to compete globally in the consumer AI market and developing multi-large language models, LLM, through partnerships with Anthropic and OpenAI to offer AI-powered services like chatbots and content generation to business customers. Telcom Cell in Indonesia is using AI-powered customer care to deliver personalized recommendations, driving new revenue opportunities from add-on services, roaming and enterprise solutions, while extending customer lifetime value beyond initial subscriptions. These are not future plans, this is happening right now in telecoms. And as you can see, the focus seems to be more on efficiency than on revenues.